Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today we're going to check out the Editage ETM008 unidirectional microphone. This is the smallest unidirectional microphone that I have found for the GoPros. So let's check it out. All right, so here we have the Editage ETM008 microphone. Uh, Editage was nice enough to actually send along a couple of other things like the EWS004 furry windscreen that's uh, inside here. We also have the ETG002 L-type adapter. So uh, we can see what the L-type adapter looks like. It's just a simple L adapter. So we'll use that in a few minutes. And let's go ahead and we'll actually open up the, uh, e uh, the EWS004. And to do that, I have my little uh, Blitz from Bomber and Company. It's my Blitz B2 uh, Nano little pocket knife here. So this thing is tiny as you can see, but it is very, very sharp and very cool. It's a little, uh, it's a little miniature tactical knife and it's very, very sharp. So um, let's go ahead and open that up. So we can see here that we have the, uh, the little furry windscreen. We also have the little foam windscreen that we can use as well. So we're gonna put those on the mic when we get that opened up. So let's set that off to the side for the moment. And let's go ahead and actually open up the, uh, the microphone. So we'll see what the, ET, uh, the ETM008 actually looks like. So we'll take everything out. And that looks like everything there. So we uh, will set the box off. It comes with a nice little pouch as we can see. And inside the pouch, we have a nice extension cable. So this is the cool thing about the, uh, the ETM series uh, that you can actually use this as a, um, as a lavalier microphone as well as just a microphone that plugs straight into your camera. So as we can see, we have the extension cable that we can use as a, um, as a cable, you know, a, mi a lavalier microphone cable. We also have uh, another foam wind puff here that comes with the microphone and the microphone itself. And you can see how small this thing is. If we look here, you can see there, it says editage on there. This is the 008. And it is just a tiny, tiny little microphone. You can see the capsule up top there. The capsule is actually fairly nice, uh, fairly nice size. But uh, there we go. So we can put the foam, uh, the wind, the foam wind puff on here if we like by just uh, simply fitting it over the top there, and uh, it fits right on there. Sort of looks like a little afro, and uh, there we go. So we now have that there set up, and we can uh, we can just plug this right into here, and boom, there we go. We now have a lavalier microphone ready to rock and roll. But that is not how I want to use it. This is not why I bought it. So I'm going to test it like this, but really what I want to use it for is with my GoPro. So I'm actually going to grab this little L adapter right here and I'm going to open this up here. We'll see if we can get the L adapter out. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, um, I'm going to plug this right in there. And now I have an L adapter. So now I can plug this into my GoPro and to the GoPro's audio adapter and the microphone will be pointed at me and uh, we can isolate the sound from the sides and from behind me. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in and, uh, and test it out and see how it does. All right, let's go ahead and jump now into the good and the bad of this microphone. And the first good thing that I wanna mention is that this microphone is a unidirectional microphone. That means it's gonna have a fairly narrow pickup pattern so that it's gonna help isolate your voice. So if you're in a noisy area where you have noise behind you or onto the sides, it's gonna help isolate that out. It's gonna help filter that out and just focus the voice, just whatever the audio source is right in front of the mic, which in this case is my voice. And so it's really nice to have a unidirectional microphone, especially when you're vlogging because you want people focused on what you're saying. Now, the next good thing about this mic that I like is that it actually has a 3.5 millimeter jack on there. So this can be plugged into pretty much any camera, any DSLR. It can be used with the GoPro mic adapter, which I'm actually using with it right now. But if you have a 3.5 millimeter uh, jack on there, whether it's an audio recorder or a camera, you can actually use this mic with it. And the nice thing about it is because it actually uses that little 3.5 millimeter jack, when you're using this with a GoPro, or some other camera when you want to turn it around to simply uh, to narrate so you can talk into the camera like I am right now but if you want to turn the camera around and continue to narrate all you have to do is just simply swing the mic around so it's pointing backwards and then you can continue to talk into the mic that way.
All right, everyone, so there we are. I am now using the Sony a7R 3 and I have the microphone, the Editor ETM-008 plugged right into my audio uh, port on the side of the camera. I have the, uh, L, um, the L adapter uh, plugged in so that the mic is pointing right at me. And as we can see, it makes a nice small vlogging rig. And the nice thing about it is it actually frees up my uh, hot shoe so that I can actually have a light on there as well. So now I have the audio level set right now to eight. And one of the nice things about using a DSLR with this mic is you can adjust the audio levels so you can get them right to where you want them. Another thing that I really like about this microphone is that it comes with an extension cable. So you can plug the microphone capsule into the extension cable and then use it as a lavalier microphone. And on the other end of the extension cable is also a 3.5 millimeter uh, plug. So you can plug it directly into your camera or an audio adapter or an audio recorder. But instead of just telling you about it, let's actually uh, plug it in. I'll let you guys hear what it sounds like. All right, so here we are. I now have the lavalier hooked up, the lavalier extension cable hooked up, and I have it clipped onto my sweatshirt here. And so this is actually running directly into the camera. Now, normally I don't use lavalier microphones like this, but I want to show you guys that it does work if this is the way you need it. Now, the cable that comes with the microphone is a little bit short. It's about three and a half feet or something like that. So it's a little short for this uh, for this actual uh, you know usage case, but they do make a longer cable. So if you guys didn't have an audio recorder and you want to go directly into your camera with your lavalier microphone you can get that longer extension cable and use it this way so but I just want you guys to hear what it sounds like now there might be a little bit of handling noise because I actually have the cable just sort of running out of the camera and onto the table and then on you know it's probably is touching my shirt and whatever else. So there might be a little bit of handling noise. If not, then that's even better. But normally the way I hook this up, I would have this hooked up, is plugged into my audio recorder. The cable would then sort of snake underneath my shirt and hidden that way. And then the microphone would come up top and I would clip it on and that's how I would do it there. So, but this is the audio using the Editage ETM-008 with the lavalier microphone extension cable. So the last thing that I want to mention that I like about this mic is something that we already saw, and that is that it is very, very small. Now, as we saw from the unboxing, this little mic capsule is tiny. And that's what I wanted because when I'm shooting with my GoPro or even with my DSLRs and I want to vlog and I'm out in public, I want to keep my overall profile as small as I can. And sometimes when you start adding too much stuff to it, it gets really big and bulky. People start to pay attention. People start dipping out of their out of frame, try not to be seen. And you don't get natural reactions of the people around you. So having a nice, small, discreet rig really helps and this little tiny microphone gives you high quality audio and maintains a nice small profile of your camera. So now on to the bad. And there is one bad point that I want to mention about this little microphone and that is that it has a straight plug. So the way that it works, the straight plug just goes right into the uh, audio jack of your camera or your audio adapter or your audio recorder. And with my GoPro, the audio adapter is actually on the side of the camera as it is with my DSLRs. So if I was to plug this straight in, the audio would be captured from whatever is coming from over there or over there, which said whichever side the, uh, the actual audio plug is, uh, is at because the microphone capsule will be pointed in that direction. However, they do have an angle adapter, so that's why I have the L adapter on this to bring the, uh, the microphone in my direction so it's pointed at my voice and then it isolates everything else. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That is a look at the Editage ETM-008 little unidirectional microphone. And I think this is a fantastic little mic. I am absolutely loving it, and I'm gonna love using it going forward. Now, if you guys are wondering how it sounds, I've been actually using this for the entire episode, except for the unboxing. So for everything else, you've been actually, you've been able to hear what the microphone sounds like. So I've been using it connected to my GoPro Hero 7 Black, and yeah, this is the way it is. I'm not adjusting the audio any, this is just how it is straight out of the camera. So anyhow, I'm gonna leave a link to this product in the video description so that you guys can check it out and pick one up on your own or get more info. And I'm also gonna leave a link to my Amazon page so you guys can see all the products that I've reviewed over time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.